Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide, where today we're here in Copenhagen, Denmark, at one of the oldest amusement parks in the world. Welcome to Tivoli Gardens. I really don't know what to expect from today. This is Charlotte's first city centre amusement park. It is, I've never done one before. And this is a historic park dating back to 1843. I came here for the first time in 2015, seven years ago, and it's really exciting to be back. I very much enjoyed this park and the history and heritage of it and of course the rides here as well. I can't wait. This park is so much more than the rides, hence the name Tivoli Gardens. It's a beautiful garden right in the centre of Copenhagen with lots of different rides to enjoy. So come and join us as we experience everything that Tivoli has to offer here in Copenhagen. Something that really makes Tivoli is the amazing architecture. Look at the entrance archway here. Oh, I love it so much. And it's also the Easter event as well. Hence why you've got some of the Easter eggs just up there at the top. We're going to get an Easter egg. Maybe so. I know they've actually got some peacocks walking around Can't in here wait. for it. Yeah, well, it's going to be great. But here we go. It's 11 o'clock. Park's just opening up. And yeah, we're riding through until 10 o'clock tonight. Loads of time here. Oh, here we go then. So we're now inside the park. And this place is so beautiful, it really is. It's completely different to any other park I've been to Tivoli here. And it's even better at night as well with all the pretty lights everywhere and the gorgeous buildings and architecture. It really is somewhere very different. This was also the park that inspired Walt Disney himself to build Disneyland, like, which is really incredible, especially because we love the Disney parks. We love Disney, you know, Walt came here and kind of it inspired him, oh. uh, which is amazing. He visited here, I think it was 1951, um, he came here to the park. Yeah, look at this, you've got the Easter egg just off to the side and this huge building, which is impressive. I remember last time I was here, 2015, being amazed on this piece of lawn because they had like these uh, robotic lawn mowers. I think, there we go, they park. You see that little white building there? They park in there and they come out and mow the lawn. I, I was impressed. Obviously now you see them a lot more, but yeah. back then I was amazed. <laughs> you know, I loved it. Now in terms of tickets here and wristbands, you can pay just for a ticket to come and walk around the gardens, at like an admission fee. They have a lot of concerts here as well. Or you can get like an all-inclusive pass that gets you unlimited rides. You can also paper ride if you want to. Loads of options here. Of options. Yeah, there is. And on, on the website, it can be a bit confusing. Uh, but here's the wristband, it's very nice. Let's have a look at Charlotte's here. Ooh, da -da -da. There we go. So we've gone for the Turpass Plus, which also gets us admission into a scare maze. So we're looking forward to that later. I don't know what to expect. I think it opens from about five o'clock. So we're doing that. And also there's been some other changes since I was last here. Two new coaster credits for me to get since I was last here. Exciting. Four coasters in total, and we'll start off with the oldest, the most historic roller coaster. It's over 100 years old. It opened in 1914, and it's just around this corner. Here we go then. So it's just gone 11.15. Yeah, the rides have all got their own opening times here at the park. So it's well worth downloading the Tivoli app so you can get the details. Because also later on in the day, some rides close a little bit earlier. Hey, Big Ball Worldwide on YouTube. Oh, here we go. See, you've got the onboard brakeman. There he is. And so, uh, yeah, he's going to control our ride on this coast from 1914. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, this is it. Look at this beautiful attraction. And of course, you've got the big mountain there as well. Another one of the trains going round. Oh, it's great to be back here. And this is an awesome night ride as well with all the beautiful lights on it. Here we go. Let's go and have a ride on this beauty. Here we go then. First ride of the day in the beautiful sunshine. The absolute classic roller coaster. And my awful pronunciation, you ready for it, viewers? Rust <laughs> Oh, we're on the back row. And the brake man is a fan of theme park worldwide. He just said he's going to watch the Farrow vlog on his oh, brake. How about that? It does, yeah. <laughs> Cable lift hill. Cable lift hill. All the buildings. Literally, we are right in the city centre of Copenhagen. You look off to the right here, there's the train station over there. All the buildings. Hey. <laughs> There's the onboard brakeman right in the middle. As you can see, he wears his headphones to protect his hearing, of course, from the ride. And here we go through the mountain. Oh, get some good airtime on this. Hey. Oh. oh my God. You right there, Charlotte? <laughs> Your bum lifts up a bit on this it one, did. didn't it? Yeah, oh, a little teddy bear in there. Here we go again. Amazing. Woo! It's a great night ride this as well. Beautiful Ferris wheel there. Here we go. Oh! 
I know they've done some retracking work actually as well. You can see quite a lot of wood replacement. This takes air time for the next level. It's, it's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go again. Fantastic. Yeah, you want to be getting on the back row of this. This is quite a slow ride compared to what we'll get later on. Oh you will God. be flying. <laughs> oh, around the door now, twisting around to the side. You can see absolutely nothing in here. It is so dark. And then, of course, emerging round to the end of the ride. Oh, what an absolute classic. I love that so much. And it's very, very smooth, that ride, for its age. How is that for you? <laughs> That was crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's it, lap bars that's up. It, go. Everybody off? Oh, fantastic. Train's still moving oh, and people are off. Oh, what a classic. Hey, big shout out to the Brakeman as well. There, there he is. Awesome. Oh, again? Oh, we ride again. Oh, awesome. We're going to get back on. Fantastic. That is a truly unique and incredible roller coaster experience. I absolutely loved that. We were going to start off with one ride this morning, but now the break room was like, come on again, like, ride again. again. We went on big fans of the channel on that ride, which is awesome. Honestly, uh, amazing. And just took this amazing photo as well there, sat in the chair, which is I amazing. Actually in the seat, uh, which is pretty incredible. But uh, there we go. How are you first ride on that? That ride was fantastic. I wasn't expecting that much airtime. Yeah, and also <laughs> as well, like when we went around the corner and started climbing the cable, lift you were surprised yeah, it goes up so fast and it's very smooth as well for a coaster Brilliant. that's well over 100 years old obviously it's had a lot of work and pieces repaired over the years but you know what that's a great ride absolutely loved it what a start to our trip here to tivoli more rides coming up on the classic rust banan later on <laughs> my pronunciation is terrible i am so happy being back here at tivoli and like i said at the start there's been a lot of new investments since the last time i was at this park including this is Tic Tac, and how awesome does this look? I love these rides. They spin really fast and very intense, but look at the theming. This building is absolutely incredible. It's like a big clock all around the top. And look at all of the gondolas, how well themed they are. All the lights on here as well. This looks absolutely awesome. I'm gonna jump on and take a ride on here. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna be able to film on there or not. With this park, it kind of varies on each ride that you go on. So yeah, we'll see with that one. But uh, look at this. Wow. What do you think of that, Charlotte? <laughs> it looks good though, doesn't it? <laughs> How good does the building look? Yeah, it looks really good at night. This park has been designed for a lot of night rides. Like, oh, it's beautiful. But look at this, what an investment. I'm gonna go and jump on. Wow. expected i couldn't film on there but you know what what an overall package for a ride the look of it is amazing not for me that but it looks good <laughs> off ride to be honest i was on my own on the gondola and yeah i only actually spun upside down twice on there it's weight isn't it yeah you've got to be in with two of me on there oh no <laughs> so if we go on again which i will later on i'll sit with somebody else on yeah. there i think just to get more of a spin because some people are really going upside down <laughs> but what a great overall package the lighting that has got to be one of the best themed flat rides I've ever seen. Really good. Everything from the fences around the ride uh, to the lighting, it's the overall aesthetic well. of it. This area of the park is gorgeous now, it really is. I remember the air race uh, when I was here last time and then since then they've really upped the rest of the area and all the theming. It's got kind of a space, futuristic, kind of Jules Verne vibe around here and I love it. Right then, up next, it's time to ride one of two new coasters here at the park. Now, you may remember from the vlog back in 2015, they used to have a Mack Rides powered coaster here. Well, they completely demolished the old one because it had come to the end of its life and they built a new one. Like, how good's really that? nice, doesn't it? It does, and following on with the steampunk kind of theming around here. Excellent. Something that, you know, this part doesn't have. Again, I mentioned it last time, oh, it's audio. audio on, uh, I was quite surprised last time I was here. It would really make it a lot more, wouldn't it? It's like on the Tic Tac there, just some no, proper like yeah. drum and bass music or something. That'd be great. But they do have a lot of concerts and live music here. It looks like this is a three lap special. So let's go and ride it. Another uh, awful pronunciation coming up from me. Malkovjan. Honestly, I'm awful. I am absolutely awful. I'm so sorry to any Danish viewers watching this. I'm terrible. The theming level around here is amazing. Look at all the flashing lights. You've got screens here as well. Yeah, it's fantastic. And yeah, pretty short queue straight up to the station. So let's go and get on. Here 
Here we go. I think it's a three lap special, this one. Opening 2019. Just down there. <laughs> Great feeling. Woo! Felix, Felix, Felix. Love the track killer in the tunnel. Station fly through. Woo! Yeah, all the decor around this is great. I love the Jules Verne vibes. on top of a building. So I'm not complaining about that. But look at the architecture, we're literally in a city centre. It's so bizarre, isn't it? It is bizarre. Like when you've never done it before, it's great. I found out that, by the way, it translates to the Milky Way. It's even got lights on the side of the train, look at that. And that was the Milky Way, here in Tivoli. Oh, it's so nice being back here. You got the little trolley ride going round, and you have that ride on the Milky Way there. It was really good fun. I enjoyed it. Nice three lap special. Yeah, it was fantastic. And I tell you what, the track colour, the design of the trains. The overall package is really good. When Tivoli builds something new, they're really upping the game with the level of theming. It seems weird actually seeing a Mack power coaster that that's that, that tall, to be honest. That's maybe 30, 40 foot, and on top of the building up there. That's the thing with them being a city centre amusement park. Space is really limited. So you'll find that they build other rides, like there's a Dodgems just in this building. Then on the roof, you've got the power coaster. They kind of, you know, bring things Making together. The most of the space. Definitely, there's a couple of bits that are open at the moment. Not too sure if it's due, due to the wind. You've got the air race up there, which again is beautifully themed, and also the Star Flyer, but it is quite windy. It's the wind. Yeah, obviously safety is paramount. I've got to say though, operations aren't the quickest here, but it is quite a laid back park in a way, you know, which is fine. There's not loads and loads of rides to get in. You just kind of chill out and enjoy it really, but oh, which is nice. it, it's not like real quick operations. No, it's not. Uh, bear that in mind if you are coming here. We have got little dodge jumps over here. And yeah, we're going to head down to the BM now. I bet it's weird for you. Like, there's a BM in this park. <laughs> Normally, a BM's a massive grand ride. This is a great little coaster, but yeah, it's a very small BM. And in fact, you can just see it peeking through over here. Oh, here we go then. The theming around here is absolutely beautiful. Welcome to Damanon or the Demon, oh, as it translates to. <laughs> Here we go, looking forward to this. So yeah, it's the cutest little B&M coaster in the world there. It's, like, it's the entrance just through here, Charlotte. Uh, now the good thing is, they've actually removed the VR. Now, when I was last here, there was no VR. Since then, they added it, and now it's gone again. Yippee. We're not a fan of VR, are we, Charlotte? On coasters anyway, you know. But uh, look at this, you've got the Great Wall of China just here on the left. And yeah, here's the coaster. Now we've just seen it going round, and what's really interesting is, yeah, it's got water dummies, which is a shame because it means we can't do the front row. I really don't know why. I'm not too sure, but the, the riding it, literally one row water dummies, one row riders, water another dummies. water dummies, which I've never seen before. Oh, that's really weird. Obviously, if it was back in the UK, you would not be able to do that. You know, it's very interesting, but uh, the theming for this is great. It opened in 2004. It's a B&M flawless coaster that's just over 90 foot tall. Lift hills off to the right, and yet it's got three inversions. It's a lovely little ride, this is, and at night as well, it's got lights all around the track, but I'll put in some off-ride footage, and then we'll go and get on. Oh no, so what's just happened is, they've added a second train to the system, because uh, it was taking ages, we thought, oh, the dispatch was really slow. They added a second train on to obviously improve capacity, which is good. And then, yeah, a lady's just like held the sign at the top and, like, to close. So 
Yeah. What I'm thinking is maybe they're taking all the dummies off now and it's busier than what they're expecting. Who knows? That's what I think, but uh, here we go. We'll have to come back later on. Hopefully, I'm sure it'll be fine. I mean, we've got until like uh, 10 o'clock this evening, but yeah, just really interesting. Communication, uh, not the best there. Uh, and obviously with a few rides already being closed as well, um, not the best to start with operations today. However, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get on there later for you. Disappointing. Yeah, I think that, I reckon that's I what they're doing. Happening. Take all the dummies out. They obviously planned for a quieter day. We had some friends that were here yesterday. They said it was very quiet. So maybe to keep the coaster running, obviously they put all the dummies in. So yeah, I reckon they're gonna take the dummies out and then open it because it's not broke down or anything and they've downloaded the train. So yeah, I reckon that's what's happening. So a big part of this park is live entertainment and concerts. And yes, it's the Easter celebrations at the moment. Oh, look at this, the dress. There's Easter eggs up there. Here we go, nice family stage show for everyone to enjoy. I do love the vibes of this place there. And look at the architecture of the buildings all around the edge. It's beautiful, isn't it? I want to dress up as an Easter egg. I would love to see you dressed in that, Charlotte. Do a nice little dance. The good news is the demon is testing again now. So we're going to go and have a look. Yeah, hopefully we get a ride on there. Yeah, just sort of come and see these Easter eggs dancing about. I love that. <laughs> Well, there might not be any goats wearing coats here at Tivoli. However, you've got these lovely lambs here for Easter. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? Oh, right in the middle of the park. What's that? You want to go on the demon? I don't know. Oh, oh, God, he's getting excited. There you go. What do you think to that, Charlotte? Lovely. Yeah, nice. I thought he was a bit vicious then. <laughs> I think it's what I said about going on the demon. Right, let's go and see if she's back open. The gorgeous scenery with the demon running around now. Amazing, and all this looks great lit up at night. Yeah, let's go and join the queue again, and hopefully we'll get our ride on there now. Well, I tell you what, there's not many amusement parks in the world where you can see coasters like this, and amazing buildings and architecture behind. Look at this view, and the stunning building on the outside of the park there. It really is. Phenomenal. Let's go and ride. And here we go then, just climbing up the lift hill on the D. And I've got to say, the operations are very slow. Painful to watch at points. Well, you know what we're on, and this is a beautiful ride to look at. The views over Copenhagen from this lift hill. Wow. <laughs> Let's ride. Here we go. Woo! Love a good flawless on the front row. into the brake run. Lovely, there we go. I tell you what, it's quite a short ride for a small part, but you've got a thing. It's got a lot packed into it with three inversions. There we go, that's the demo, Tivoli Gardens. All right, footage there from the Demon Dannanen here at Tivoli. Get out of pronunciation there on the front row with a flawless coaster. You've got to be on the front to really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, you have. That's a great ride. I really enjoyed it, but the operations were oh, not good. <laughs> yeah, the operations were painfully slow on there. Literally, the train was on the brake run and the air gates hadn't even no, opened. The air gates just hadn't opened. <laughs> really slow. Well, you know what? It's a beautiful ride and the area underneath it's great. Three inversions on there and it does pack a punch, actually. It's quite forceful. Of course, you've got the loop first then makes its way up into an Immelman, followed by a zero G roll on there. So yeah, lots packed into it. Great ride. It's not one of my favorite B&Ms or anything. However, for this park and the location, it fits in beautifully. I think it fits in really well. It's kind of like a mini Dragon Con really around yeah. here. That's how it feels, you know. And you've got lots of different restaurants and shops underneath the coaster. So yeah, we'll take a look at this. So yeah, what really makes this area is the fact you've got the coaster ring above 
And then underneath all these little market stalls, shops, restaurants, stalls, it's great. All the undercover seating and just the details around here. Beautiful. But yeah, all the newer additions here at the park are just getting better and better when it comes to the theming. Went to the toilet just and even they're all themed with the little lights in there, which is nice. But yeah, the aesthetic of the area is brilliant. And yeah, you've got the little market stalls and a lot of people come to Tivoli, not for the rides. You know, you can pay just to come in, walk around the gardens, walk around the park. And yeah, of course, you've got all these little uh, gift shops selling unique items, which makes it uh, a really interesting park. Anyway, up next, we're heading around this corner to check out this, a new ride since I was last at the park. Let's go. Here we go then, so look at this, it's Fata Morgana, and yeah, this is new since I was last here at Tivoli, and wow, it's actually three in one, and again, it's beautifully themed, so as you can see, you got the seats where you sit inside spinning round, the ones where you sit on the outside, you might be thinking, well, that's only two different things, at the bottom, you've also got Mini Morgana down there as well, I mean, this looks awesome, and I think the views are going to be brilliant from up there. What a really unique attraction. And yeah, all the color scheme of this is absolutely amazing. It really is, blue and gold. When Tivoli are making these new investments, they're doing such a good job at the theming with them. They are absolutely awesome. But yeah, look at this. It doesn't spin too fast. I don't think it's gonna be really intense, but we're gonna get some awesome views over the park and also Copenhagen. Oh, the signage is amazing here for Fata Morgana. We're not at F telling on the dark ride, by the way. <laughs> so yeah, you can decide here, animals or twirls. So we're going for a spin just here. Oh, all the lighting around here, amazing. It looks so good. Charles having a dance at the queue line there. <laughs> Although she just goes off randomly dancing. I can't even hear any music that she's dancing to. <laughs> there you go. Are you in the right queue? That's the question. All right, let's go for a spin. Here we go then. So it took about 10 minutes to get us loaded up, but we are off. And yeah, I don't know how this is gonna arrive, but yeah, it's manufactured by Huss. <laughs> it's basically a more modern Huss Condor. Look at the view. Now I think from looking at it off right, the seats are gonna tilt forward in a moment. Woo! Hear the sirens? We are right in the city center. You okay, Charlotte? I'm not sure. <laughs> She's not sure. What a great view though. Wow. And yeah, it's only a small part, but it's a beautiful one at that. Oh, that's it, we're tilting a bit now. Woo. It's very windy up here, so I do apologize about the uh, wind interference. Wow, what a great ride. It'd be a good one at night, this as well. Gorgeous building, spectacular architecture. I'm glad we got on the BM because it's gone down now. So now we wait for that front row ride for the POV for you. How are you getting on? I'm cold. <laughs> it's not too intense though, this. And obviously, you can do the uh, inside facing seats if you want to as well. Looking over beautiful Copenhagen, the capital city of Denmark. <laughs> That was really good fun. I like that. Quite a little bit thrilling, but you've also got a nice observation as well, which is great. On ride footage there from Fata Morgana. How did you find that? Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Charlotte's really getting a bit more kind of experimental with the flat rides I'm now. so good now. I remember a time where you'd be like, Sean, you go on first and let me know what it's like. Yeah, I know. Now you just jumped on it. I just do it. I'm really proud of you for giving that a go. It was a good fun ride as well. And of course, it was quite thrilling as well with the spinning, but it wasn't too it intense. It wasn't too much. No. How amazing were them views though. Really good views. And of course, the build quality of that's great as well. All the theming, the details on there. Again, pretty set operations, but uh, it was good fun that good was. Fun. Right, we've got another coaster to ride our fourth and final coaster here at this park and this is actually a new credit for me since my last visit so this ride much like the mac powered coaster the milky way that we went on earlier opened in 2019 and yes it also replaced a former coaster here at the park they used to have a little zero tivoli here fun fact for you about that the original zero tivoli that opened here in the 70s at the park um, that is literally why they called it the tivoli model because of tivoli gardens it was the first place to get uh, a zero tivoli fun fact for you um, but yes they've actually replaced it here with a zero force called camelin 
and you can see the camel just out on the front, just a small little kid's coaster. But I tell you what, the train design, the general look of it is amazing. And look at all the cherry blossom there. It looks amazing with all the flowers around. It is stunning, this park. And yeah, it's great to see them kind of combining theming, water effects over there as well. Wow. Just all together, a beautiful experience. They're great to look at these rides. So yeah, let's uh, go and experience this, Camelon. And up we go on the camel. Woo! On the front row as well. We can't sit together on this one. Charlotte's behind. She's let me have a front for the pub though. Through the trees, oi! Woo! Got to check the clearance regularly on this one. There we go, two laps. How many are we going to get? I think it might be four from watching it. Look how beautiful this park is though, folks. You've got to come here and experience it, just to see it. Woo! Oh, some on right footage there from the camel. Nice little zero force. Yeah, four laps on there. I only showed you a couple of them though. You don't need to see it four times go around. It was great. Really good fun, yeah. Yeah, enjoyed that. Especially we've got so much else to cover in the vlog from this park. All the beautiful flowers and this location here. Look at the massive ship down there as well. And yeah, you've got all these little archways that have got all the lights on. It looks great at night, this park. It really does. And this is actually one of the best views around here. There is actually quite a few rides that are closed today. I mean, you've got this little drop tower here. It looks like it's having some maintenance work. Along with that, oh, there's the camel again. Hey, Clarissa the camel, that's what we're calling her. Um, around the other side there, I'll show you in a minute, but you've got like a, what would you describe it as? It's quite hard, like a magic yeah, carpet. Yeah. So you've got like the seats underneath, then it kind of goes over the top. A suspended magic, magic carpet. carpet, that's yeah. what we'll call it. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd take you for a little walk around here because it's beautiful. What I really like about this park as well is how it's not all tarmac everywhere. You know, just kind of lots of different terrains. But yeah, this view from the bridge here, so we'll come and show you this because you've got the lovely little boats on the water and then the epic views as well, which is lovely. But yeah, this park, I really do like it. The operations are not the best. However, it doesn't take away from the fact that this place is gorgeous to walk around and just take it all in and see it. But yeah, this is that iconic view. Unfortunately, there is a bit of construction going on outside the park. So you've got the cranes behind it. Uh, but yeah, this is the photo. You see everybody take a Tivoli Gardens, standing on this bridge, looking out at the boats. And of course, with Daminen just behind it over there, the demon. Yeah, the shot that everybody takes is kind of about here, standing there for a lovely photo, especially at night. But obviously, I'll show you that later on. But yeah, along with that, you've got the SNS Tower there as well. It looks nice. Yeah, with the SNS Tower, again, you get some great views. It's actually a drop and not a shot on this one. So, yeah, it takes you up still pretty quick, um, but doesn't launch you up. And then it drops you down just like that. Yes, here's the ride that we were talking about just. Again, beautifully themed, all the water around. But yeah, unfortunately, it's not in action today. I doubt this is due to wind um, because, yeah, it's quite a low level ride. Maybe it's just having some technical issues. Maybe. Not too sure. Well, we've got the sign out just at the front. I tell you what, though, these newer additions to Tivoli, they've really done a fantastic job on the theming. Just like the benches, the details of all the bricks, just everything has really been thought about, which is great to see. Only in Denmark, you've got your nice B&M coaster over there. Like a little garden centre off here to the right. So loads of little bits for your garden and ornaments and stuff. I love it, yeah, all the little unique gift shops. Makes it so unique, it really does. Right up next, time for a dark ride. And Charlotte's gonna pronounce this one because my pronunciation's awful. We're gonna have a Charlotte one. Put her on the spot here, here we go. Let's go and get in the queue. <laughs> Let's look at the theming inside, and then we go down this spiral staircase and onto the ride system underground. Let's go. Choose English by using the switch above your head between the loudspeakers. There we go, so you can actually change it to English, which is really cool. First, a tale of a soldier finds gold, spends it all, and steals a tinder box. So we're sitting in like a treasure then chest, a toy box. The princess and causes great trouble, helped by three big dogs, but gets to be king. They're yeah, really interesting, because you can see we're heading up this kind of spiral section. There's more of the ride system. 
Yes, the chickens tell the owls, and the owls tell the doves, and the doves tell the bats. And so, stories When a top loves a ball, and she thinks it's too far, and bounces too high, you know she'll come to a sad end. A lovely butterfly helps them believe the same away, away from Mother Toad and her ugly son. Many adventures lie ahead. I know this because my friend the Swallow sent to me the whole story. The little mermaid left her beautiful undersea home to see the world. She came to love a human. So There's the little mermaid for you. More of her than I'd like to see, to be honest. You see, she loved a young man. Let's get a swimming costume on. And asked the witch for legs so she could be with him. But this handsome tin soldier loved a ballerina. While the other toys played, he only looked at her. The soldier had a great adventure involving a paper boat, a sewer, a large rat, and a There's a large rat. Through it all, he stood straight and tall as a soldier should. Some people believe flattery, others are lonely and sad. Then he met some beautiful swarms and discovered that he too was a swarm. Nature always sets things right. The little match girl likes a match. Christmas tree and roast goose. So she'll be far away in a place where there's no gold. No gold. Can an artificial like it is. It's really weird, but it's beautiful. the commentary. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's in English for us. Like, what more can he want? <laughs> Once a wicked demon. <laughs> a wicked demon is outside. Dispatching every 10 minutes, I think. The swift reindeer carried her northward as she searched for the Snow Queen's castle. Kai Do you want to build a snowman? Yeah, oh, there we go. Elsa looks a bit different the last time I saw her. Demons are still causing mischief. The shepherdess and the chimney sweep decided to run away from her disapproving grandfather. But the world is so big. Still, the story has a happy ending. Ah, this is how it feels to fly through the night in a magical flying tour. Just as the rich merchant son did when he flew to the castle. I've got to say, it's a very impressive I would tell building. Multi-level dart ride. It's the ride system that interests me the most. A prince came to this castle with wonderful gifts. But the size of some of the theme in. Refused to see the prince in disguise. He got a job as imperial swineherd and made musical concerts. <laughs> I know, Charlotte. So charming, the princess. But discovered by the emperor, they were banished. Out with you. The prince said, Thou wouldst kiss a swineherd for a musical part and not have a prince. Go part wall wise, there he is. And Billy goes. Billy goes. Just ask Jack the Duck. Thank you for joining me in my flight. I always enjoy sharing my victims. So we just had our wonderful ride there on the flying trunk. How that was, was so it? So funny. So you actually make your way through over 30 different scenes from Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tales. It was just the commentary. It was so funny. Yeah, it was. Like, but the good thing is, you got that little switch above the ride which vehicle. Which I think's really good. Yeah, you can swap it from Danish into English or vice versa, which is very yeah, good. That's brilliant. And that's great, especially for international visitors, which there is a lot of here. Yeah, at there is a lot. Yeah. Quite a few Brits, lots of Americans we've seen here as well. And do you know what? We're having a great day. We're getting round. 
we're seeing everything and the weather's not too bad yeah, at it's all. Not too bad. You know, we, when we looked at the forecast last week, we thought it might be raining every day, but yeah, we're doing really well. We're doing well. Oh, what do you think is the park then so far? Yeah, I really like it. It's getting very busy though now. It is a beautiful amusement park that only gets better as the sun goes down. Get to see it tonight. But uh, there we go, it's a great dark ride. Let's uh, carry on with our day here at Tivoli Gardens. So many food options in the park. You've got Joe and the Juice here. There's also a Wagamama inside the park as well in this beautiful area, as you can see, with all the kind of reflective roof. And yeah, you've got so many like, little snack areas, place to get ice creams, donuts, popcorn. A big part of the amusement park experience is the food. And they really do have that covered here. Oh, look at that candy floss over there. Oh, it's a massive one. Oh, that's so good. Oh. Here we go, the wheel spinning. So it's having to go on this game just here now. Here we go, you got to stand in front of these. Oh no, I didn't win, but yeah, you stand in front of it and where the wheel stops and you get the prize. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Including our wristband, because we've got the one that includes the scare maze, photos and a game each. Your game's down here, I think. There we go, yeah, they're quite uh, popular. Oh, here we go, let's let him come past us. We're going to get run over. Move out of the way, kids, that's it. <laughs> Oh, this is nice. What a charming park. But you've got like the little uh, kind of spinning ride that's closed over there at the moment. Obviously the star fly there is closed because of the wind, we imagine so. And then yeah, up on the roof there as well, you've got the beautifully themed air race, but hopefully they open later on. Well, fingers crossed, but if not, you know, it's not the end of the world. Safety is paramount. I'm just glad we've got the coasters in for Charlotte and of course the classic roller coaster being the highlight so far, of course. If you're a theme park enthusiast, you've got to come here to Copenhagen to see this place. It is just amazing, the design of it. Uh, we're at the back now of the roller coaster, the classic scenic railway. And yeah, there's all the game stalls and restaurants, these cute little avenues. It kind of gives me Europa Park vibes in a way down here, with like the little avenues that kind of lead off the different areas. All the games, it really is amazing. The closest thing we've got to back in the UK, of course, is Blackpool Pleasure Beach and Great Yarmouth Pleasure Beach, but this is something completely different. I seem to remember there being a fun house, and I think it might be down here somewhere. And we've also got another dark ride to get on as well, so we'll uh, check that out. But yeah, all the little details down here. You're right there, Charlotte. We have huge bags of crisps. Oh my God, sour cream and onion. Do you like that flavour? No, but that's <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to get them back on my Ryanair flight. <laughs> I haven't even got a case. Uh, it's all flooding back to me now, the fun house. Here we go, Charlotte, up you go. <laughs> oh, hey! Yeah, I remember this. You've got a nice slide over the side here as well. Are you managing? <laughs> Just about. Get up to the top. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> She's nearly there. Oh, look at all the slides. I'll get you coming down. <laughs> Woo. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you okay there, Charlotte? Oh my god. Oh, that was a fast one. Yeah, we're on the ultimate cakewalk here now. Look at this one, they're getting some airtime. Oh, that's my knees enough. Oh no, Are you okay. Oh, that's the way to do it. Oh, you're right there. Supposed to be in the vlog, theme park worldwide on YouTube. Really good fun in here. Oh, strobe lights. <laughs> it's massive as well, it goes all the way down there. Loads to see. Yeah, the steps are moving as well. Very strange. So Charlotte over here has just gone flying down another slide, haven't you? <laughs> oh my God. You were flying, like you gotta bear in mind when you come into these places. Very different to back home. It's literally, you know, like, it's just crazy, crazy. But well, there you go, I'm glad you're all right though. But yeah, just be careful if you are coming on the slide today. You do go absolutely flying. Yeah, so be careful. But yeah, you got all sorts of there. It's great fun. Got the spinning wheels there as well. But yeah, it's an absolutely huge fun house. Brilliant attraction. All the lighting in here as well. Oh, so we just come out of the fun house. Here she is. Well, I've assessed my knee and it's very badly grazed. I've had to go medical. And get a plaster. And, and Hey. <laughs> oh no, we've got a plaster on uh, on there. We've got a little bit of a sit down, a bit of a chill out. These things happen, don't they, sometimes? It could only happen to me. Oh, I don't know. Like you got to think these fun houses, they are great fun, but you've got to be uh, very careful. I think it's your leggings, the material of them. You I'm went lucky. flying down. I've got my thick leggings. 
I'm good. Oh yeah, it could have been a lot worse that, but she's all right, there we go. We're going to these places at our own risk. <laughs> Keep on riding. Well, we've got a nice relaxing dark ride for you now, Charlotte. Somewhere around here, a nice little boat ride. Welcome to the old West End, right here in the heart of Copenhagen. It's an interactive shooting boat ride. There we go, I bet you never done one of those before. <laughs> Literally, you shoot targets on a boat ride. Really? There you go, looking forward to this. Wild into Star Wars! Hey, da 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 that's it, we're using this massive lightsaber to get them. So this is built underneath the big roller coaster, Rustabarn. The classic scenic railway, right above us. Of course you can see some of the support structure all throughout the ride. Makes a funny little noise this does when you press the button and hit a target. Where's all the rats in there? Yeah, there we go, there's the rat. A big hand coming for Charlotte there. There he is. That's Sean Rat up there. Oh, massive. So when you hit a target, it turns red. There is some nice bits of theming in here. I think it'd be better if it wasn't an interactive ride. Pretty sure I said that last time I was here. It was seven years ago though. Can't remember much. I'm not sure. What is this supposed to be? <laughs> oh god. Oh, ready for the drop. Little turntable now, there we go. Oh, if it turns off. Hey! Oh! <laughs> a very wet body. It's <laughs> not gone off. Some more ride footage there from our tour around the mines. I think that would be better if it wasn't an interactive dark ride. Like, what, what even was them guns? I just don't get it. <laughs> and they're really heavy as well. Yeah, like, I, I put it back in the edge. Star Wars, wasn't it? We're back in Galaxy's <laughs> Edge. But uh, anyway, right, Charlotte's turn now to try and win a big chocolate surprise for yes. us. Let's go to the Grand Prix. So it's underneath the beautiful and very traditional Ferris wheel. Here we go. So yeah, we've got this because we've gone for the wristbands where we get the little extra games included. Here we go. Here we are then inside. That's it, everybody's getting lined up. And wherever he stops cycling round, that's the winner. What are you going for there, Charlotte? Number 22. 22, here we go. He's going round, there's the peacock. Oh, is he slowing down? Oh, I thought he was then. Oh, that's it, oh, he's ready to ring the bell. That's it, here we go. And he's off. So we've got two of them. Does that mean there's two winners each time? Oh, he's going round. Nice building this though. Got the big Tober Romes up there here in the Grand Prix. Oh, 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 he's coming around, Charlotte. Oh, this is it. Oh, oh, oh it's tense. She's loving it. Oh, it's tense. This is it. Here we go. This is what we're watching for, folks. the Grand Prix. Well, what a coincidence, it stopped where no one was standing. Oh, that's why we don't play these games. Oh, he's off now, he's doing one. Oh, well, Charlotte might not have won a prize, but you know what? It's a prize every time when you ride on this beauty, oh, isn't it? Love this. Here so we good. go. Listen, every time we ride, they're like senders again, don't they? Operations are amazing. Oh, brilliant, yeah. Like, they need to send these staff to other areas of the park, like the I think. Are fantastic. Like, it's on three trains this now, and literally, just getting people straight through on it. It's amazing. Less than a five minute wait. Here we go, rider camp POV. Oh. On the back row, and the beauty of this ride whoa, is that depending on who's in control, it's a different ride every time. Yeah. Woo. What really makes it? Oh, oh, oh. Woo. Oh. Oh. All depends on you know how much she wants to use that brake. <laughs> so much fun. Here we go. Woo. Oh, your bum is literally out of the sea on this thing. <laughs> Woo! Amazing. Oh, 
amazing. Oh! Here's my favorite drop coming up. Let's go. <laughs> and two drops, it's so good. Oh, it's crazy. Woo! What a great ride. Oh, I do love this park so much. Just walking through and seeing all the planting, the buildings, it really is stunning. Look at the architecture. Oh, that's outside the park, but it just feels all a part of it, you know, when you walk out into the city. You love the coastal there, don't you, Charlotte? I really like it. Oh, it was amazing. I tell you what, we are ready for something a little bit scary now. It's a new scare attraction. Since I was last here, they built this. It opened, what, 2021, did you say? Yeah, that's what it said on the app. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Unfortunately, you've probably noticed already, but for those of you that don't know, Vertigo was removed from the park a couple of years ago, which is sad. It was a big, intense flat ride that was amazing. Charlotte would not have gone on it, though. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> well, yeah, you're in like an aeroplane. It has been removed from the park, which is a shame. We have. Oh, is it just around here? Here we go. So yeah, we've got the ticket that includes this because it is an upcharge, but uh, I'm looking forward to this because in Sweden, at Liseberg, obviously in Scandinavia, yeah, they also do horror really well. So I hope that's going to be the same here in Denmark. But yeah, look at this park. It is beautiful. All the gardens here. And that's the thing. You can pay to come in. You don't need to pay for the rides if you don't want to do them. And you can just walk around, have some food, just relax and take it all in. How's the knee doing, Charlotte? Not good, no. Oh, we got some plasters on though. The team were amazing actually, like in the shop. Give me some plasters. Oh, but here we go, right? It's ready for some spooks. Where's the entrance down here? Is it? Is it? Oh, this is it right here, inside here. So, as you won't be able to film this, however, we will, uh, yeah, talk about our experience when we come out of it. I'm looking forward to it. Villa Vendelta, is it called? Villa Vendetta, just over here. Well, look at this. It's going to be spooky. It's just open. There we go. Four until 10 o'clock every day. Villa Vendetta. It's a hands on shoulders maze. Haunted house with live actors. Let's go. Oh, okay then. So we just come out of Villa Vendetta. And you know what? That was brilliant. Like the ceiling in there was excellent. And the scares was even better. Really good. Yeah, there was touching actually as well. Obviously, we all had to have hands on shoulders. The actors were touching, grabbing our legs and on our back and it was stuff. Really kept grabbing my leg. The theme of it, we were going around this big mansion basically. And it started off going through like the dining room, a snooker yeah, area. Yeah, like working around. Uh, and then gradually progressing. And uh, yeah, we went through like a clown theme section later on. But everything was done very tasty. It was in there. Excellent, that was. Yeah, the decor was amazing in there. Um, fully immersive sets some all the way around. Scares. Some great scares. Not packed with loads of actors in there, no. but what there was was great. It was effective. Uh, really effective. Costumes are fantastic as well. And uh, along with that, oh, sirens going off. That's the thing, we are in a city centre. I know we are, yeah. You know, and obviously it's weird for Charlotte being to a city centre park like this and seeing it. It's so that different, isn't it? it? Is, but I really like it. But um, yeah, with the maze, in general, it was built up. It was about, I'd say, seven or eight minutes in I'd length. Say so, yeah. There was a few uh, animations in there as well there was actually a little carousel spinning around in one of the scenes there was a spider animatronic that came down a pipe that fell down which is quite funny and uh, yeah some good audio throughout it was a great maze i'd give it a good eight out of ten i'm gonna give it a nine out of ten it was very good really some nice scares it. it was multi-level as well but no scares on the stairs no scares. remember that one <laughs> yeah really good well worth doing that if you're coming here to tivoli and yeah just down this end of the park now by the lake you've got a few rides for the kids here as you can see Big play area there as well, and loads more food options. The massive whale just over there is the restaurant, which is cool. Love that. Yeah, it's nice and chill around here by the water. Here's some of the lovely Tivoli wildlife as well. Just chilling out down here by the lake. Oh, and yeah, you've got the huge ship just there that is gorgeous. Oh, that is amazing. It reminds me of sailing ship Columbia at Disneyland. And yeah, you've got the nice restaurant here on the water and the fountains over there as well. It really is gorgeous. And of course, soon the sun's gonna be going down and we'll be experiencing Tivoli at night. So we're off on a nice carousel ride now. And yeah, you got all these horses and then, whoa, Charlotte's up there on the giraffe. Look at this. Oh my God, can I come and join you up there, do you think? Oh, see if we can fit two of us on, lovely. So yeah, you got the spinning cups down there as well. You got the elephants. Yeah, it's nice. We've also got quite a few other rides for the kids here as well. It's not all about big thrill rides here at Tivoli. It's a very family park. Yeah, you've also got a little drop tower over there, the small little frog hopper as well. All with beautiful surroundings. Very nice. Charlotte's just very happy though that we're on this giraffe. I really wanted to get on the giraffe. <laughs> we was worried that someone was going to steal it, but we got on. Well, we had an awesome ride there on the carousel and Charlotte was really happy 
riding on the giraffe. But up next, gonna take you on the s, s drop tower just here. Let's go. Love the color scheme of this one. Oh, look at the awesome view from up here. All over the lake just there. The demon off to the left. And Copenhagen all around. Wow, look at this. Yeah, you get a good idea on the size of the pot. Like I say, it's not actually that big. What they've got here is great. And here we go. Ooh. Let's go. <laughs> There's Charlotte down there, meandering around the shops. Yeah, <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> Well, we're into the early evening now here at Tivoli Gardens in Copenhagen and we're going for a nice relaxing ride now. In the balloon. On the Ferris wheel. One of the older rides here at the park. Oh, already the views are awesome from up here. Looking down at the classic scenic railway there. Beautiful, yeah, three trains in action. Fantastic. You are really immersed actually in the areas of this park. Even though we're right in the city centre, the theming's great. Yeah, from up here you get a great look at the retrack work that they've been doing on the mighty Rushbanon, or however you pronounce it. Honestly, I can't get any better. I even try, you know, on them websites, you know, where it translates things for you. And like, I, my pronunciation is just terrible, isn't it, Charlotte? It's terrible. So bad. But yeah, all the buildings here are wonderful. And great views from on the big wheel. But yeah, gonna be uh, waiting until the sun goes down that little bit more now, or maybe go on them little trolley rides over there and take in the evening delights of Tivoli. Oh, we had a nice ride there on the wheel and we're over on the trolley bus now. <laughs> Here we go, you saw it earlier on, some off-ride footage. We're off for a tour around. So there's no other stations or anything. Oh, so ding the bell, let you have a nice little tour around the park on the trolley bus. This building lit up at night is spectacular. Cannot wait to see it again after seven years. Gorgeous. Oh, this is brilliant, this is. This is say hello to everyone. I'm determined to get a high five by the end of it. All right, here we go. It's going down all the paths. There's a Tic Tac over there. Tic Tac. Oh, I like Tic Tacs. Mint flavor. <laughs> Everyone's looking, thinking, what's going on? Oh, there's the Milky Way again. Not the trolley, let's go for a high five with this guy. Here we go. High five! Whee! Legend. Oh, that was great fun, that was the Tivoli trolley bus. Oh, look at this little car ride. There you go, they've got an Easter basket on the back just there. Oh, little Easter bunny in there, lovely. So it's a cold evening in Copenhagen. Oh, luckily though, you can keep nice and warm here at the park. There we go, I'm a sheep now, Sean the sheep everybody. Well, we're gonna get some uh, nice nighttime footage now of the park for you, but it's really filled out tonight. It's very cold. <laughs> Look how beautiful this park is at night, Charlotte. Stunning. And we're gonna take a walk around shortly and just, we've just had a 20 minute behind the scenes tour of the classic Rushpan and Roller Coaster. It was My pronunciation changes every time for it. <laughs> just wanna say a huge thank you to the team on there thank for taking so us for much. a tour. We've also got this awesome photo just here from up there on the ride. You can see Charlotte just there. And then of course, myself there as well. How awesome was it that was tour so though? Good. Just to be able to see behind the scenes, the break room in there and everything was amazing. We was actually up uh, by the mountain on the roof. It was so good to see behind the scenes. It was indeed, especially from such an iconic ride. Anyway, we're going to have a walk around the park now and capture some footage of Tivoli Gardens at night. So we'll start off here with this absolutely gorgeous view. Look at that, all the white and coloured lights on there. It really is amazing. And yeah, you've got loads of different bars and restaurants. You've also got the food hall all down here as well. Um, honestly, there's so much food available at this park, from sit-down restaurants to quick service. There really is so much on offer here. But yeah, the building there is gorgeous and the most iconic structure in Tivoli. There's so many awesome photo opportunities with these archways down the pathways. And there's also a little shop over here with loads of souvenirs. Oh, look at this. Amazing, all the lights on here. That warm glow. Oh, and the little house at the top there, that's cool. 
Wow, look at this. What a collection he's got on upstairs as well. Oh my God. It's like loads of little bits in here. How quirky is this? Now there's a reason why many people call Tivoli Gardens one of the most beautiful parks in the world. This is one of them shots that proves that right here. Fata Morgana over in the background, the huge pirate ship, the lake, and all of the wonderful fountains with lights in. I don't know another park in the world what does lighting better than this. Like it really is stunning, isn't it, Charlotte? It's beautiful, isn't it? It is beautiful. Like you don't need to ride things here to really appreciate this park. You can just walk around and take it all in. What really makes the lake for me is how it's lined with all the lights around the edge. And then you got the dragonflies down there as well. Oh wow, the views get even better. And there's a look over towards the demon. And what makes it are the lights all the way around the track. So I'll try and capture this on the camera for you. Well, yeah, you can see the change from like a pink red color to white as the train goes round. It's just picking up a little bit on the camera. How beautiful is that? What a view. Here we go. Oh, wow. Absolutely spectacular. The most iconic view here at Tivoli Gardens. Where roller coasters and beauty and amazing architecture all come together. It's hard to top this view in an amusement park. It really is. And we've traveled around the world over the years, 10 years of theme park worldwide. But this view right here with the boats on the water, I saw this view back in 2004. I'd always dreamed of coming out here. We are just getting to come here with my wonderful fiance and appreciate this park. It's romantic here. It's lovely. It's just a romantic park. And that view of Charlotte there, oh, that is a photo in itself right there. We're so lucky. I can't believe how quiet it is tonight. It's so cold though, it really is. But yeah, just appreciating this park at night. Fata Morgana there, looks amazing. Everything, like just look at it, the whole park. So romantic. If you love theming and amusement parks, you've just got to come here. And yeah, we'll take a little walk now through the Chinese area and go and have a night ride on the demon. <laughs> All of the beautiful lanterns down here, the lights on the track, oh, it's perfect. Can you imagine if London had a permanent theme park like this on a small plot of land like Tivoli? Like, can you imagine? Like, it would be perfect, it really would. Well, I tell you what, pictures and videos don't do this justice. I always try my best to capture it all for you. Look at this, it's gonna win the award for the most scenic, beautiful b &M ever. To be honest, it wins two awards. The most beautiful, but also probably the worst operated b &M. Slow operations, but you know what? It's a great ride, so let's go have a night ride on it. Up we go then for a nice night ride on a demon. Great views. Charlotte said earlier on, this looks like the traffic center over here. It does a little bit. I think it's got a bit more history though. Let's go. Woo! Wow. Oh, Tivoli. Woo! Woo! Wow, an absolutely awesome night right there on the Demon. Look at the lighting. Incredible, absolutely incredible. Wow, it's beautiful. Let's continue and look at this park in the dark. Oh, I love this, walking through the archways with all the lights. 
amazing. And yeah, the lighting on the station for the Milky Way is epic up there. So yeah, it kind of changes as the train goes through, which is really cool. And there's some arrows on the front. And when the train comes through, and then yeah, all the arrows are kind of lighting up and changing. We have missed out on the air race and the star fly today, which is a shame, but you know what? We've got the other bits in. I'm glad I got on Tic Tac, because that was awesome. And yeah, I'll put some footage of that in action for you in just a second, so that you can see that with all the lighting at night. Wow, look at this in action. All the theming, the lighting, the smoke. And yeah, you really see all the beams of light as well because of the smoke machines. There's one thing this is missing, and that's audio. Honestly, Tivoli, come on, let's see some audio, especially on this. I can understand if you don't want to put it everywhere throughout the park, but this, like a dance tune or something, will be absolutely phenomenal. It's got everything. It's one of the best, if not the best, themed flat ride in the world. Let's see some audio on it. Look at the awesome Tivoli shop sign just there. Like how all the letters move. It's amazing this place, it really is. It blew me away when I came here for the first time and just seeing it again this trip has been amazing. But uh, anyway, we're literally gonna lap for the last half an hour the classic 1914 wooden coaster. Here we go, let's go and ride it. The Rush Banana or however we say it, I don't know. It sounded like I was saying banana. It's so beautiful with all the lights everywhere, it really is. And it's pretty much walk on. Here we go, come and join us as we have our last ride on the classic roller coaster here at Tivoli Gardens, Copenhagen. Wow, look at this, a night ride with the onboard brakeman himself over stunning Copenhagen, Denmark. What a country, what a place. That one's just so friendly. Here we go, I don't know how much you're going to see, but we're off. Oh, the brakeman's getting everybody cheering. Fantastic, oh, I love it. Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh, it's great. I love this atmosphere. Woo! Oh! Oh! Woo! <laughs> what a park. What a. Hey! Getting everybody going. Let's get some air time, baby. Woo! <laughs> oh, it's ridiculous. I love it. Main and Shed was in there earlier on. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. What legends! Yeah. Woo! Oh my god! Yeah. Oh, what a guy! What a ride! We're just gonna keep on riding and we'll wrap up the vlog shortly. Well, we've just done five awesome back-to-back -back <laughs> rides on the Classic Scenic Railway oh, here at Tivoli. I absolutely Tivoli. love it. That is by far the best ride at this park. 100%. I love it so much. I really do. Like, it's my favourite coaster in Denmark. It's like, brilliant. I love it to bits. It's a spectacular so ride. 1914, an absolute classic. And yeah, the brakeman on there, the behind-the-scenes. are amazing. Oh, amazing. And the good thing is you get a different ride every time, depending on the brakeman yes, you get, you do. which is good. Some give you a bit more airtime. Some give you the laterals being pushed into the corners. It is a beautiful ride at what is a gorgeous park. Yeah, here we go. So what the atmosphere? Like, even though there's not loads of people here tonight, people shouting, what is going on? Here we go, look at these, here we go. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's crazy, but uh, oh, what do you think of Tivoli Gardens then? Oh, it's so nice. Like at night, it's like a completely different park. Like the light's stunning. And the thing is, at this park, you get night riding all the time, which is fantastic. You know, you can come here on an evening, get loads of rides in. And uh, yes, they've only got four coasters, but what they've got is really nice like, here. Well. You know, the new addition since the last came, especially Tic Tac, that was great. Tic Tac's awesome. The I know Milky I didn't Way. Ride it, but yeah. it looks great. <laughs> the Milky Way powered coaster. I thought that was good fun. Yeah, that was really good. Uh, along with that, the Camel Coaster, Love that was great. And also Fata Morgana, like all of them have been great and yes, new additions. Really, really nice, really. And of course for Charlotte's first Can time. I join your life? <laughs> We're not live, hey, but it's theme bar worldwide on YouTube. You too! Forever! Oh my god! I subscribe. Have a good evening. See you, you soon. Too. I subscribe. Definitely. Theme bar yeah. worldwide. Oh, legend, there he's loving it. <laughs> but yeah, all the new additions have been amazing at this park. The atmosphere, the Danish people, how you doing? Hi. There we go, theme park, well, what, what is going on, Charlotte? What is going on? But so what an atmosphere just being here, all the lighting of the park. It is gorgeous. There's a couple of things I'd love to see them improve on, and that is firstly, um, the audio throughout the park. Yeah, it needs some audio. Definitely, a bit more audio would be great, just to add to the atmosphere. Definitely. And also as well, some of the operations need tweaking a little bit. Yeah, because the operations on some things haven't 
been great. Yeah, the B&M is like the worst off-road B&M yeah. I think I've ever seen, to be honest. You know, it needs a bit of work on there. But you know what? It's a beautiful park. Beautiful. I love it to bits. It's Tivoli Gardens in Copenhagen, one of the oldest amusement parks in the world. And you can really see now when Walt Disney walked through these gates, how he became inspired to build Disneyland. Don't miss this park. It's crazy. It really is. But uh, there we go. Thank you very much for joining us. Lots of POVs too. And that will continue tomorrow as we visit Barken. <laughs> Here we go. I'm saying it right. It's not back and it's Barken. Barken. So it's coming up. It's not actually far away from here at all. It's not too far. We're checking it out tomorrow. Charlotte's going to get on Tornado tomorrow. I don't know how I feel about oh, this. Oh, we're in for a laugh. But uh, here we go. Thank you very much for joining us here at Tivoli. A crazy way to wrap up an epic day. And that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, get out, out there, there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. See you tomorrow at Barkin.